Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. Justice in reverse, could be a Libra involved. Clearly some sort of imbalance. Mm, six of pentacles reversed. Wow, definitely an imbalance here. Someone is giving more than the other or someone feels that one person has benefited more than the other in this connection. Um, Queen of pentacles reversed, nine of pentacles reversed. Okay, so it can still go either way. I could look at this as your person saying, this third party has been taking and taking and giving nothing back or it could be the third party saying that your person has benefited more from this connection than they have and they almost feel that they have less now than they did before particularly in the realm of the physical so finances property status even okay page of wands reversed the empress is reversed mm. okay we have lots of libra energy here we've got taurus <laughs> there's a lot of feminine energy here um queen of swords reversed okay interestingly i'm sort of reading all of these figures as the, the third party there and i'll explain why yeah page of cups reversed and the devil capricorn energy there and then the two of swords reversed okay if i'm completely honest it looks like this third party whether they are a karmic spouse boyfriend girlfriend parent boss is pretty fed up and angry with your person or the situation with your person and the reason is I mean okay well let me go through why I think all of these figures are the third party so queen of pentacles if we imagine she's in the upright she's committed to something she's reversed it's almost like a regret about the commitment or wanting out of the commitment now if this is say a parent of your person they can't really get out of that commitment you know but maybe they kind of uh, feel like your person's not doing what they want and they're struggling with the relationship um it's almost like this queen of pentacles is slipping into this queen of swords queen of swords is also reversed for me that's someone who's cross someone who's angry someone who feels bitter someone who's even using words to wound and doing it with intention we have the empress reverse for some of you this could be um as i said your person's mother it could be someone they have a child with so like a mother of a child father of a child but it's strong feminine energy um this person's cross this person feels that your person's taken more than they have given now that might not even be true but in this reading i'm seeing a lot that the third party actually wants to speak and i know a lot of you are like i don't want to hear from a third party who cares but it's giving us a good insight into what's going on here um the third party is very very angry and actually feels they would like to step away from this connection if that's possible, you know, to step away completely, depending on what the situation or relationship is with your person, um, to create some distance, um, if they can, or if it's a, like a controlling figure in your person's life, um, a relative, something like that. It's almost like they want your person to do what they think they should do, but your person is an adult, so they can't really control them. Um, now, you might be thinking, okay, so what about my person? How do you know how, how are they viewing this how do they feel your person's checked out your person seems to have checked out of this connection they might be there in body they're not there in spirit they're not there in mind they're not there in their heart your person is focused on the injustice they feel they have suffered in the fact that they cannot do what they want to do and what they want to do is go off on an adventure somewhere else your person feels that they've had a missed opportunity or maybe several because they have either chosen to align with this third party or they feel you know if they didn't choose it if it was again if it's family or something like that they just feel that you know hard done by like it's unfair that my family is so controlling or this one person in my family is so controlling if it's work you know it's unfair that my my manager or my boss is so controlling because i can't just step away i need to have this job something like that but um yeah your person's checked out of this connection that could be another reason why this third party seems to be so wound up because they can kind of sense that your person is only just there you know physically but their attention is going elsewhere. Um, for some of you, Page of Cups reversed, we've got, this is blocked by the devil. Now this isn't gonna be for everyone, but I, I kind of have the feeling that this person, for some of you may know, 
about you or that there is someone else for your person here and your person tried to message you or has been talking to you and the third party either has stopped communication between the both of you or has blocked a message from getting to you um but this is one angry third party um and your person isn't even really engaging with that isn't trying to make it better isn't isn't talking this through with the third party they, they just they've just detached um with the two of swords reversed i feel like there's some kind of truth that has come out something has been revealed everyone is seeing seeing the truth of things right so let's have a bit more of a look at your person whoa king of cups in reverse so there may have been love at one point um or they thought that there could be love in this situation for this third party or for this situation they're in but actually look three of swords reversed it, it never really developed into that or if there was love at one point it sort of dwindled massively and now it's been replaced with pain another message i'm getting is if this is say a karmic um your person could have chosen this third party at a time when they were struggling and almost feeling desperate and just wanting connection or it could have been that they were acting out of a wound you know repeating some sort of trauma cycle um and and they sort of attached i just had latched onto again i almost feel like that's the energy of the third party feeling drained by your person and i'm not saying that's true it, it's just how they're feeling um, but your person may have recognized, okay, this is a familiar person. This is a familiar pattern. I'm going over there, even if it wasn't a good choice, even if this whole connection is kind of operating in a lower vibration, it just felt familiar. It's, it's, um, some sort of wound perhaps that they were playing out. Okay. What else, please? What else in my viewer's person? Um, the number 747 could be important. Is that a plane, a 747? I'm not sure, it might be. Okay. Oh, look, King of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles reversed. No one's getting on here. Both people want out of this situation. I think um, there could be concerns like finances, possibly a child or children, something around dividing assets. Um, practical concerns look eight of cups yeah you as i said your person has checked out of this they are no longer there their body might be there but everything else has gone elsewhere they're in their head thinking about you know what if i could be in a situation that was actually emotionally fulfilling what if i could just walk away um from this situation that i'm in however the energy of this third party is pretty strong with the devil um let's see what's going on here And look how many reversals we've got. I'm just having a look. I think every card is reversed except the devil and the eight of cups. Well, there we go. The predominant energy in this third party situation is this devil energy here, a focus on maybe the ego, the 3D, excess, um, feeling bound to something and someone that you, you don't want to be attached to but finding it difficult to release yourself and the age of cups i want to walk away those are the only cards that are upright okay tell us more about the devil energy here there's so much bitterness and i think before your person detached they probably felt quite bitter as well because with justice in reverse it's like this is unfair and they might be almost being a bit self-pitying especially if this is something they got themselves into but nonetheless their opinion is this isn't fair um which would come with a feeling of bitterness you know i'm trapped here because of you queen of pentacles and blah 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 um we know the third party is bitter because they feel they've brought a lot to the table um and and your person isn't grateful or has just taken from them it almost feels a bit like two people who are kind of in the energy of mm, i don't know how to express it it's not being a martyr it's not being completely egotistical but it's like a mixture of like i'm the one that's hard done by i have given so much i <clears throat> excuse me i deserve more and some of those things might be true but um if both people are in that that space that you know that headspace there's just going to be clashing and resentment okay the devil let's see someone could be an aquarius i don't know if that's you your person the third party wow look ten of cups reversed yeah 
<clears throat> the hanged man reverse pisces it's like i want to get out of here i'm so unhappy and another card that's reversed the chariot cancer this to me feels like getting in the car with your suitcase and going oh my gosh chariot the chariot follows a star the star is aquarius so yeah aquarius energy but also i know i'm not meant to be here this is how both of these people are feeling i know there's a higher and better path for me but i'm just confused as to how to make it happen because i feel so bound up here um again okay, that stands whether we're talking about a work situation um like a, a karmic spouse situation a family situation um each situation obviously would come with its own difficulties and then we've got the individual personal difficulties on top of that but um the message is clear the still the only cards upright age of cups walking away and the devil this is not a happy situation. <sighs> okay, five of wands, doesn't really feel that relevant, but I thought I'd just have a look and see what's on the back. So yeah, I mean, several people involved. There could be friends, family connections, colleagues, if it's a work sort of situation. Um, actually, this feels relevant. Which, which one is it? I don't know now. Let's take both. Six of Cups reverse, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's something that both people want to leave in the past and sort of never look back at this, this situation. But also, again, it's about the time, the effort that's gone into this. It's about the practical application. It's about the money, the investments. Gosh, wow. Okay, that's that's intense energy, but it feels like it's full of anger. You know, in the way that like anger can be a pretty motivating um energy that sometimes feels fast paced and makes you sort of energizes you and, and makes you want to sort of get up and do something it feels like that um kind of explosive um yeah right okay well let's leave those cards out and let's have a look Ooh, okay can we see spirit what is going on please between my viewer and their person so really mostly from their person's perspective how are they viewing this connection between themselves and my viewer please One thing that's that one more message is coming through about this third party, although they, they want out of this situation as well, they're not going to be happy with it just ending and both of them walking away. It's like they want something from your person. You know, I've given this and this and every, you know, I've given everything essentially and you've benefited and I haven't. So before you go, I want something from you. So it could be that they're trying to drain your person of, of things they have or take something from them. I mean, justice we know can talk about the courts, uh, law, divorce, that sort of thing but um they could be saying to your person you know we're not separating or we're not going our separate ways unless i have this 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 and this from you and maybe it's like an unreasonable list or something um okay right so the energy please between my viewer and their person from their person's perspective the energy between my viewer and their person from their person's perspective what's the situation here we have the king of wands so feeling very inspired very passionate very driven by this connection but in this deck um the cat is laying down you know looking at the flame so this is somebody who isn't getting up and taking the action they want to take almost feeling like i wish i could but for now i just have to keep looking at not looking at the passion but you know um being in the energy of, of thinking about the passion um daydreaming about the action I would like to take we have the world we have the fall in the reverse Aries Aquarius yeah okay so there's a feeling as well that um if a cycle has ended between the both of you that um your person is wishing it could things could begin again that they could have a new beginning but with the full reverse it's like they're not sure if this is something that's going to happen and you know what's so interesting look how the 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 way these cats are laying very similar I would even say in the fall you know this cat's looking actually even more fed up than the king of wands so we're kind of looking at this from your person's perspective so they may feel that you are really fed up with them um interesting we have the cards down here so it, i don't know if they know that you watch tarot to, to you know to, to sort of 
understand what's going on here or not, but there's a feeling that your person is acknowledging that you're not getting much communication, if any, from them, that they've never really been super clear with you about their wishes, intentions, feelings. They've left you wondering and you might be sick of wondering. You know, that's, that's how they feel. Um, and that's how, how they assume you might be feeling. And that's definitely contributing to them wondering, um, can we have a new beginning or not here? Seven of Wands reversed. Okay, quite literally, if someone's been blocked, they want to be unblocked, or um, if they've blocked you, they have unblocked or will be unblocking you, but this is an unblocking of the heart space. I think this person, I know it's not here yet explicitly, but I think they may have regrets about not being more open with you in the past. So I'm seeing lots and lots of thinking um, about you. Nine of Swords in the reverse. So they have been in a period of serious anxiety, but they're coming out of that now. This is someone who could feel that there's um, a lot of distance between you, in some cases geographical, in others it's literally because you've not spoken in a while or you've not had some kind of a um, conversation, sorry, that's needed here. Six of Swords in reverse. I feel for some of you this person would love to, to physically come and see you, but feeling like that's not something they can make happen right now. Yeah, I mean, I think for other, others of you as well, it's almost like they might think or feel that you walked away from this connection or they did so much to push you away that maybe they succeeded or you just haven't tried to reach out to them in a while and it's almost like please come back i would love for you to come back but i'm not sure if you're going to at this point Woof. <laughs> okay we have judgment and again look at this cat looking at these actual tarot cards and we've got a pendulum and the pendulum is on the three of swords your person feels that yes, you ha you've had to draw on all of your intuitive abilities here to figure out where you stand and a lot of pain, emotional and mental, has been caused here. And that perhaps you've made a decision that you are done. And all of this is taking place in their head from a distance without actually confirming or speaking to you. Do you know, also, I mean, I don't know how many of you this will feel like a real possibility to, but um, for some of you, this person could actually be watching their own um, readings, tarot readings, or they could have sought out some kind of um, insight or advice, but in like a more spiritual capacity versus, say, speaking to a therapist or something. Actually, I think we'll take those... Oh wow, the chariot in reverse on top of the chariot reverse. So we've got more cancer energy there, but um, that this person really wants to speak with you. They want to see you, they want to have communication, that they want things to move forward. But again, it's like how? And it's not how because it's so difficult to message you or reach out to you. It's a how because how do I get out of this third party situation? How do I get free enough of that that I can really make some headway here and have this forward momentum with you? We have the five, oh, the five of wands again. So it definitely was relevant. Remember that five of wands that was on the back of that other deck? So other people being involved. So it's not just, your person's trying to say it's not just the one third party that's a factor. There is some other, it's like there's some nuisance energy as well or some, some background noise. Nothing that's super, super big or important but there are other people so it might be a third party plus the third party's family and friends it could be um your person's manager plus their colleagues or do you know what i mean it's like some there's there's more than one person to be considered in addition to the third party um your person you know as i said the chariot follows the star they feel drawn to you they feel like you're the person they want to be with this is the connection they want to pursue but with the chariot reversed how how do i do this we've got two seven seven of wands in the chariot which is also a number seven that's a very introspective spiritual number so this is someone again who's doing a lot of thinking and a lot of reflecting let's see if they're coming up with any good wisdom can you clarify this king of wands please ace of wands yeah they're looking at the flame they're looking at this spark thinking about it okay two of swords 
we have the Four of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Cups again. So the wisdom they've um, gathered is that they want to release the current cycle they're in, the current experience they're having, and walk away from everything that's emotionally unfulfilling. Well, you know, that's good wisdom. Um, I don't feel that they've got like a concrete plan though. Um, they're almost in an energy that's a little, it's not apathetic, but it's a bit dejected. I do not think this is an energy that will persist for too long unless you know your person's really struggling psychologically with some sort of a bigger issue here. Um, it feels like they need to sit and maybe feel sorry for themselves for a minute before they pick themselves up and carry on. Um, sort of like a five of cups kind of energy. Now, let's have a little bit more of a look at how they're viewing you. The full reverse and judgment. It's like you're saying, done, I'm done. No more of this. And if it's not that you're, you're saying, I'm done with you, they know that you're done with how things have been. You're done with the cycles that were playing out. Um, with the way that they were engaging and interacting with you. Or the way that this was making you feel. Okay, so can you tell us more about how my viewer's person is viewing my viewer. <laughs> what are they thinking about my viewer, please, at this time? Six of Wands reversed. So they feel that um, in the past your ego may have taken a hit, um, but not just in a superficial sense, like they weren't acknowledging you, they weren't validating you and your feelings. Um, you may even, I keep hearing the word invisible, you may have felt at, at some point that you were invisible to this person or, you know, you may have asked yourself, what do I have to do? How much do I have to do here to be acknowledged just in even a basic sense in the way that they seem to give other people respect? Um, what, what am I going to have to do here? And you may have tried many different things and now you're in an energy of, of being like, I'm not trying anything. You know, you either appreciate me, see me for who I am and respect me, or you don't. Okay, we have, wow, three of swords. They really feel that you're hurt or they have hurt you in the past or you've been left hurt by this connection and that actually you're still in this energy. You may not be, um, but perhaps with maybe the last interaction you had was about this. So that's like the, the um, what's the word? Um, impression they've been left with um it could be they're projecting and they're in a pretty difficult spot right now and feeling maybe regretful about choices they've made and they're projecting that onto you okay let's see the magician in reverse gemini energy um so they wonder if you would want to hear from them or want to communicate with them um, they feel that you have like, um, you're being self-protective. You might be projecting an image that isn't 100% authentic. So for example, you're, you're projecting, I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm confident, no one can upset me. Whereas they know that can't be true because they've upset you. Um, but you're not showing that, which is a, a kind of, they're, they're reading it and seeing it as a kind of strength, but also that you're unreachable, like they can't penetrate through this shield that you've got up almost. Um, also, we could we could read this as them thinking you don't want to manifest anything with them anymore. One more, please. Yeah, the hanged man. Pisces. Noticing the crow is on the skull, um, which can be death, Scorpio energy, but also, you know, an ending here. Um, okay, do you know what I think is happening? I think maybe you're taking less action here towards your person than you have in the past. Maybe you're, you've stopped taking action completely and you're just sort of observing. And because of the state that they're in, it, you holding back or, or not even holding back, just not being as, as forward as maybe you have been there, interpreting that as you rejecting them. Well, no, not rejecting them as you being unapproachable or closed off to them or being done with them um whereas actually you might just be saying now well if you're interested why don't you make an approach it's that sort of thing but there's so much here they also clearly think you're very intuitive we've got so much just here in this row about sorry this column about um intuition some sort of psychic ability um you could be popping up in their dreams um Maybe you're dreaming of them, but 
they do they, it's like you know and you have gathered more about this situation and them than they have shared and you've clearly gathered this through means other than speaking with them or communicating with them um maybe things maybe you know things about them or you understand things about them um that really they haven't shared with anyone maybe in some ways they feel like you've understood them better than they've understood themselves even just in some situations so they know it's not that you've been talking with other people because no one else knows these things you know so they it's it's like you see them in a special way or you have some kind of knowledge or access to them that's very unique um and i think in the past because of this connection and this ability to know them you you may have it sort of spurred you on and encouraged you to want to connect with them more and you may even have tried to share some of the things or say oh hey you know i'm similar in this way or that way um but i don't think you're doing that anymore and maybe at the time they were like whoa this is a lot or they felt a bit exposed or something but now they miss that they miss you being around and you know someone who sees them and understands them so well it i think this person feels like they are very complex and complicated even for themselves to understand and maybe they are um but it's like you understood without them having to try and explain all the different and potentially conflicting aspects of them and their personality and their psyche you got it you understood it and they miss having that connection with you now in like a back and forth flowing sense that was once so available to them because they feel like you know it's more difficult to speak with you or get through to you um, or have your time and attention Okay, so let's move on to this message deck um, that I so vividly dreamt about. It would be fun if I could remember exactly what the messages were that came out in the dream, but unfortunately I can't. Okay, so what messages, please, would my viewer's person like to give to my viewer at this time? Okay, what messages does my viewer's person have for my viewer? <gasps> Look, I can feel you in the energetic realm. Yes, when you pray for me and talk to me telepathically. It's really helping me. Please keep it up. It's giving me faith. I know you... <laughs> okay, hold on. I did a reading, I think it was last Friday in fact, and there was a whole like sexual undertone coming through so strongly it became an overtone and this message came out and the whole like please keep it up thing um, definitely felt like an innuendo. Um, and that was making me think of the passion, you know, we've got the King of Wands, we've got the Ace of Wands. And then we have this message saying, I know you think your body isn't perfect, but it's heaven to me. And I often think about and look forward to exploring it and how to pleasure you beyond what you've known. I want you so bad. So something actually that didn't come through as a predominant energy but clearly is here is how passionate your person feels about you in like a sexual sense and the fantasies they're having and if you have been intimate with them in that way um definitely remembering that and sort of wanting more of that with you um i've had enough of this i want you in my life now please just let me do this on my own terms and trust sorry on my own terms and trust me i'm coming sooner than you may think oh my god again <laughs> honestly if you haven't seen that reading i think maybe you know there might be more messages there for you um i just can't take this pain anymore <clears throat> okay um, I am going through somewhat of a financial crisis or restructuring right now and might even be changing jobs or careers. As soon as I feel stable, I'll reach out and see how you are. Yeah, so for some of you, the third party is work or someone at work. Um, if, it, if there's nothing going on with their work or finances, I feel like it could be finances in the sense of dividing things up between them and someone else. Um, like a, a spouse or something and if it's say your your person and parents or something like that i wonder if one of the reasons that your your person might still be so aligned with a frustration uh, situation that they cl clearly find frustrating is because of finances um and wanting to be able to maybe move out or move further away or i don't know something like that 
Your healing is also causing me to heal. I can feel huge shifts within me. Please keep working on yourself to help expedite my healing. Please, sorry, keep focusing on you. It's working. Okay, so two cards here, one on top of the other about them feeling what's going on with you and you healing and getting into a good place and self-prioritizing. I'm open to or planning on relocating to be closer to you. I'm open to compromising more than you may realize. Let's think outside the box and figure out a way you're important to me. Okay, I think that's in line with that world card, isn't it? Yeah, here, the world. So yeah, for some of you, there is geographical distance and your person is feeling ready to actually make a move to be closer. If we were intimate and I ran away, please know it wasn't you. It was just super intense and awesome. So I ran feeling undeserving. I'll get my courage back and come back around. So for some of you, this is a really specific message again. Um, it could be that you were intimate and then they ghosted you and then you really took it personally and thought, gosh, it must be about me. Um, and they're saying, no, it's not about you. Okay, so let's see. One more message, please, from this person, from my viewer. We have, uh, interesting. I've been putting out messages publicly that are meant for your eyes only. So let me just pause there because they may have failed. The messages may have been for your eyes only, but this third party, in some cases, picked up the message. It may not have been as subtle as they thought. Um, in other cases, your person, like I said, has been trying to send a message or put a message out there and the third party has interfered, um, possibly even blocked it. I hope you're getting them. Maybe not in some cases. Please keep a lookout for any memes, stories, posts or songs because I'm trying to let you know you're on my mind. Yeah, okay, wow. So I'm gonna leave this here, but I hope there were some messages here for you. Um, maybe some confirmations as well of things you were picking up, um, sensing, you know, and feeling. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Check out that other reading. I think it might be three or four readings back now. I'm not sure, but it was, um, it was last, a week ago, basically seven days ago, I put it out. If you're watching this when it's released. Um, but yes, thank you so much. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.